What's up, Ultimate Ninjas Libertyville? We are here for week three of the Youth League. So we're gonna jump right into the course. Now, your course time limit for this is going to be three minutes. You'll have three minutes to get as many points as you can on this course. Again, as always, chalk is allowed. You can have somebody follow along with you if you wanna chalk up anywhere in the course. So, the first obstacle is going to be a rope swing. You're gonna start up on the quad step and you will have the rope in your hand. You will get your three, two, one countdown, and then you will swing to the green box on the other side. This is a one point obstacle. As long as you get from this box, using this rope to this green pad, and you dismount on or past, you will get one point. If you touch any of the blue in between here, you will not get that point. All right, moving on. The next obstacle is gonna be the jumping spider. So, you'll notice that the trampoline is in the middle of the jumping spider, so you are allowed to touch this part of the gray anywhere before the jumping spider, uh, anywhere before the trampoline. You're gonna start on the trampoline. You can, if you're tall enough, you can do the jumping spider normally, just like as you would. You're gonna go all the way down to the red pad on the far side. If you are not tall enough, we've put these rings here for you to take advantage of. So, if you need to, because you can't reach fully, you can use the wall, these rings, you can have a feet on both sides, you can have feet on the wall. These rings are here to help you, okay? So, however you can, all the way through the spider, dismount on or past this red pad. You will get one point if you get past or use this middle ring. As long as you get past where this is, you will get a point. And then if you dismount to the red pad, you will get your second point. Next, you'll come right around here. You'll start up on this green box, making use of the pegs that are already in the pegboard. You will traverse across the pegboard down to this pit pillow here, okay? You will get one point if you touch any of the holes on the green side of the pegboard. You will get two points if you can make the dismount onto the pit pillow. Okay, moving on. You will start up on this black box using any part of the truss. You just have to go from this black box to the red landing platform over there, which we'll see in a second. You can use any of these bars that are silver, none of the black, okay? I don't want your hands in here. It's just not safe, so don't use the black part, but you can use your hands. You can use your feet on this part of the truss. That's totally fine, but just anything you gotta do through here, through here, uh, you can traverse across this bar get to this bar, and then dismount down onto that red landing platform, okay? So, you will get one point if you get to this bar, two points if you get to this bar, and then three points if you can make the dismount. Now, you must stay on the dismount here. If you overshoot it and land on any of the blue, it will not be good, okay? You must stay on this red pad. All right, so, Landing here on this red pad, your next obstacle is going to be the balance, making use of these BOSU balls. You're gonna traverse across using your feet all the way through these stones. You must use the gray part of the stones. You cannot touch any part of the red pad, and you must dismount onto this gray pad anywhere on the gray is fine. Over here, you cannot dismount off to the side. You must be in this lane straight across here. So you will get one point if you get to the third BOSU ball. You'll get two points if you get to this first block uh, stone that's on a red pad, and you will get three points if you make the dismount over here onto the gray pad, okay? Next, you will have a starting platform. If you need it here, you're gonna be doing the roulette cylinder. Now, there's no official start or landing platform for this obstacle. This is a special obstacle. You're gonna try to get as many points as you can just by turning this roulette cylinder. You'll notice there are numbers on the roulette cylinder, and you're gonna try to go all the way around. So, you will get one point if you touch the number three, touch this one. You'll get two points if you can touch four. You will get three points if you touch six, and then you will get four points if you can touch all the way back to one. All you gotta do is touch and then drop it, okay? Moving on, you'll come this way. You'll start on this green pad, making use of these ropes, you will traverse across. You can use the knots, you can do anything you need to do. You cannot use this silver bar. Do not use this bar, but you are going straight to the batting ram. Okay, so ropes, you can use the knots up to the batting ram. Once you're there, 
you'll move the battering ram all the way down. It will lock in place, and then you will dismount on to this black pad. If you dismount here and you fall backwards, you will not get the point. You must dismount and continue forward. You will get one point if you touch the battering ram where it's starting. You will get two points if you can move the battering ram all the way past this green tape, which is at the middle. And then you will get three points if you land on this black pad here, and that is your third point. All right, so moving on. All right, your next obstacle is going to be the pipe slider. You will start on this pad. If you're a shorter competitor, we'll get you a box so that you can reach. These rings will be moved up out of your way. You will use this silver pipe slider to slide all the way down the track, down to the cargo net, and then to the green landing platform. Now, you will get one point if you can get over, so if you can get to this first bump, you will get one point. All you gotta do is touch it with the silver bar. If you get over and get to this second bump, you will get your second point. If you touch the carbonet at all with your feet, with your hand, you will get your third point. Dismount onto the green box, and you will get your fourth point. Now you must dismount and keep going forward. If you can touch here, and then you fall, you will not get the point. All right, moving on. Your next obstacle is going to be the cliffhanger, so you'll have this starting box to start on. You don't have to start on the first one, you can start on whichever one you can reach to. You will go all the way up the cliffhanger, down, and then you must dismount onto this green pad, and you cannot touch any gray, you have to go straight to the blue, okay? So don't hit this green pad and then step off, okay? You have to go to the blue, because we don't want you to fail the dismount and not show control on the green. So you gotta get to the green and then go straight to the blue, okay? So, you will get one point if you can get to this cliffhanger, right where seven is, where this green tape is. Two points if you can get to the top cliffhanger on this side. Three points if you can get to number 10, this cliffhanger here. And then four points if you successfully make the dismount. All right? Now. Your time is running, so this part you're probably going to want to run because you're going all the way across the gym because we're heading over to the work walls. So, before the work walls, this is your second to last obstacle, we've got the balance tank. You will start on this red pad, you will have the big balance tank to roll on, you will roll up all the way through the balance tank, and your dismount is onto the work wall platform. So any part of the black of the work wall, this is your dismount. You will get one point if you make the dismount onto the, onto the black, okay? You cannot touch the blue now at any point. You cannot step back. You must stay on the black. All right, I'm gonna repeat that. Once you make the dismount here, you must stay on the black. Do not go back to the blue, okay? Your last obstacle is the work wall, starting from the black. Do not step back. So. Choose whichever one you want to run up. You have to start with your feet on the black, and then run up, and then hit the buzzer at the top of the 14-foot work wall. So, no matter which wall you go up, you're going to climb up to the 14-foot, slam that buzzer, your time will stop, and that's time to celebrate. All right, guys, good luck. All right, Ultimate Ninjas, Libertyville, this is your week three course. Pay attention.